welcome back to the channel um, so I wanted to do a video uh, tonight uh, well for it to release later tonight probably closer to uh, midnight this will come out uh, <clears throat> UK times um, and this one is for the second proposal that is in um, it's being voted on now now this has been voted on once but um, the it attempted to burn more than what was actually the original proposal requested to burn since it was the current amount available in the community pool when the proposal was created sadly another proposal ust goes into chain polygon edition past removing this much usd from the community pool this proposal uses the actual amount of ust available on the community pool so it will actually go through this time and not not actually uh fail um now it is voted for yes on on pretty much 99 point something percent but it hasn't reached quorum which is um strange but the even more stranger thing about this and um this isn't fact this is uh sort of my speculation excuse me um on the whole burning situation and how do quans come out and stated um why would you burn money like that um burning doesn't do anything um but feel free to um send your luna to burn and then obviously supplying a uh another version of the uh community burn wallet so um if they don't understand what burning does why are they proposed and gonna obviously seems like this will be passed why have they even put this up for voting if they believe that burning a uh, token or coin it doesn't do anything this kind of um contradicts the same statement said previous and it contradicts this whole wallet in itself if they don't understand what burning is then why did wrapped luna work on a system of where when it unwraps itself it would burn a certain amount and the percentage was very low because obviously the supply itself was very low at the time and um now you're seeing huge amounts of uh burns coming from this wallet which in my opinion and guys this is just my opinion here is that if i was duquan and i was team leader and i wanted to um use burning to control the price stop it from spiraling um down again and uh, pretty much giving whales the ability to truly truly buy it because when it actually dropped down to that level there was very few places you could actually acquire um lunar coins uh because i tried myself a couple of my friends have said the same to me that we were done out of an opportunity to um get in on some uh, considerable gains like some people managed to so um that in itself is uh very fishy so um if duquan was to uh, pretty much and like I said guys this is just my opinion here this isn't fact or nothing this is just my opinion on an outcome that I think is possible so if I was Duquan I would control uh, the price and not let it spiral out of control but not let it pump too much neither I would do it by burning because everybody knows in crypto that burning a cryptocurrency and removing it it pumps the value of the other coins up because you're removing a percentage of the coins it makes the remaining percentage of the coins more higher because there's less of them uh, so pretty much I would put the burn in through this wallet that is what I do and that is what I think we're seeing and now the less Luna that's out there the less that is going to be created I th I think and like I said this is just my idea of what i think could possibly happen um that the amount of new lunar that's generated on genesis is determined by the amount of current lunar on the market right so it's duquan's best interest to have had as much as he can on the market at that time so that pretty much um he gets more of a new token and now let's say for instance that Duquan actually asked the exchanges to stop allowing people to buy it when it got so low to stop a whale buying in and then gaining a like a majority control over Luna and then also during the Genesis airdrop they would also get a rather large amount so as you can see on Twitter I have actually posted how much this how much you would get 
in um, the new Luna coin if you was to have held this much. Now, I'm pretty sure that this is Binance's main withdrawal wallet. It is actually gone up more than this. Uh, there you go. It's nearly at 2.2 uh, trillion now. So, yeah, they're amassing coins for some sort of reason. Um, there's no need for an exchange of their size to be hoarding that many coins for it to just die and go to zero. So, yeah, there could be a huge price dump on the um the day of genesis because a lot of people um are probably going to um be getting luna and then selling it as soon as they get their genesis airdrop so take always take that into consideration and none of this is financial advice it's just ramblings of me in my bedroom with my cat so yeah i believe that possibly after genesis is dropped <clears throat> We, we could possibly see Duquan would have no need for any Luna tokens that he holds or this wallet holds and then UST is supposed to be burned um, they burn the remaining amount in the community pool um, I just believe there'd be quite a few catalysts to um, slingshot this onwards but once again guys this is m just my speculation on it and I know we like to stick by the facts, but I've noticed people kind of like to hear um, what kind of outcomes that I think that there could be. And then on the downside, what I also think could happen is we could see a monumental pump and then a monumental dump where everybody just gets rid of their Luna. Duquan doesn't burn anything. Binance doesn't do anything with their hoarder coins and it all just capitulates and go back to zero and Luna is considered a dead coin. And that is a uh, possibility, guys. There's a possibility of everything in crypto. So, yeah, that's what I think could possibly happen. Um, yeah, otherwise, they just all of this stuff just contradicts itself even existing if they don't understand the burning mechanics or out. Uh, and they they wouldn't do something like that it's just it's just a bit too strange for me so uh, yeah and Binance have finally come out today and said that they're supporting um, the new Luna token uh, token coin uh, which will be called Luna and then the Luna you guys currently hold will be called Lunk which is Luna Classic um, yeah but Binance has come out today and said that they support it and they'll be doing everything they can to pretty much benefit people that hold uh, Luna coin on their app so uh, yeah that's all I've got for you now uh, folks just know that the burns are actually going through quite well as you can see some decent sized burns going on so hopefully as these start ramping up from the slowdown earlier we uh, will see this reflection again in the price so yeah no technical analysis but possibly the poll the flag, the pole, and then possibly another flag and another pole. Not financial advice. Do your own due diligence. Do your own research. I'll stop saying, guys, and I will catch you in the next video. Shloop!